Hey, you guys having some trouble over here? You need some assistance? These guys weren't here earlier. Ah, there. I want the parts from that big guy. Which big guy? The Kavesi... Wait, the damage to the leg here. I fixed this not long ago. It was from another colony. Oh my goodness. Ah, this horrible. Oh, Valdi, okay. I get it. So this is how my levenesses have been treated. Sorry to rush you, mate, but we don't have time to be standing around. Huh? What's happening? Well, we are outlaws, so... They've marked us all as a target. What? Gotta do what you gotta do. Let's get this over with. What do you mean, what? You said it yourself when we first met. Like, oh yeah, the castle says there's a big reward for beating you, for beating you up or whatever. You tried to do exactly what this thing is trying to do. What the heck, Valdi? Get struck. Dude, this Equitus is so dead. It's only level 21. I almost feel bad, but not really. Die. Probably should have gone for a fusion art there, but too little too late. I tried to use Giant Swing and Ouroboros by mistake. I'm a, Just be prepared for that to happen for like a majority of the playthrough. Because it will be happening repeatedly. Fire! We're just getting warmed up. There we go. One more to go. No, leave me alone. More enemies. What do we do? In my experience, the area themes turn into the battle theme when I'm too busy running away from 47 enemies trying to get from one place to another. Yeah. Valdi may lack la some common sense. Seems like it. Do the heroes level with your characters, or do you have to level them? I have no earthly idea. Look, here it is. No clue at all. I also think I'm about to I've sneeze. Got a bunch of goodies stashed inside. What is this place? It's just where I stored some of the junk I picked up. Can't keep it all at the colony. You know how it is. I see. So you're recycling the parts as you deem necessary? Yeah. The supplies from the castle just aren't going to cut it. We have a lot of very particular mechanics and a lot of requests from the pilots to boot. We even get commission to repair the Levnesses from other colonies. Seems like awful much effort for not much reward. Not true. We're having a blast with it. Our Nopon are all highly skilled, and our lieutenant has a good head on his shoulders. Did, did you just pronounce that word as lieutenant? Or did I just hear you wrong? So, uh, remind me, what was it we were trying to do again? Picking up parts. Oh, yeah, right. Well, for the body, I'd need... Ah, something like this. Yeah, that fits the bill. Michael in chat just says, I know in all caps. British people are so weird, I'm glad they're not real. Michael. Michael. I feel you. <laughs> it's okay, I have British friends, I can make fun of them. <laughs> They- British people just say Lieutenant instead of Lieutenant? Lone Wolf, defend yourself right now. Defend yourself and your people. The word left is not in that word. There's no F at all. Oh my goodness, stretch. I didn't know that was a British thing. I gotta ask Shroom to try and pronounce that tomorrow when I'm in call with him. Does he actually say Lieutenant instead of Lieutenant? That's crazy. Is this guy really cut out to be a commander? He's a skilled mechanic for sure, but I imagine he gives his aides quite the headache. There are a handful of Brits in chat, Lone Wolf included, who are like, I do not say it like this. It's some other British weirdos. <laughs> 
I googled it when I did this cutscene. It comes from when lieutenants would hold their guns on the left or something, so they called them lieutenants. <laughs> what? That is one of the most British things I've ever heard. That's insane. That's so funny. <laughs> Nice. That's what Google. That do oh. Don't interrupt me. <laughs> That's what Google said. I hope it wasn't How lying. Place we were at when would Google ever lie? Could you imagine Google lying? Unbelievable. Abraham Lincoln told me that the internet always tells the truth. You gonna tell me Abraham Lincoln is a liar? Doubt it. All right. Let's fix this bad boy up. And then maybe unlock another healing class that I'm gonna have to start having people finish. Although to be honest, I'm a lot more interested. I almost wish that like, decent, right? I feel like I wish the class system was done like overly different in general or that it was just in general more like Xenoblade 1 where class wasn't even like really much of a thing. But uh, I feel like I would like the class like system idea a lot more if it was just the hero classes. If like, instead of all of the base characters being like, yeah, dude, you have to do all of theirs as well. You don't have to, but like you have all of theirs out the gate and all. Instead, it was just sl like somewhat slowly, like unlock Ethel's class and then like, okay, well now like Noah and maybe Mio or maybe like Senna or someone can use, can use uh, Ethel's class and get abilities from it, and that's how you unlock more arts and whatnot. And then it was like more contained in general instead of being just like so much overall. I think I would like that a lot more. But whatever. I definitely am more interested in unlocking hero classes and like more specifically having like like, Ethel's class, I really mostly just care about, like, Senna and and Noah mastering it. And then, uh, the Defender class for my Defender characters, etc, etc. Thanks, guys. Looks like all the parts are accounted for. This is enough to build Levness. What wrong, Valdi? Spirits seem middling to low. <sighs> I thought that with Elevenus, I'd be able to protect my friends. That no one would have to get hurt. But just building them and fixing them up isn't going to make life rosy again. My pals just do as they're ordered. They go out, they fight, and they hurt people. Are you, like, not controlled by the flame clock or whatever? And I'm the one responsible. If you're going to blame someone for causing all those casualties, blame me. Valdi is doing perfectly normal job of mechanic. Issue of orders, not your fault. But... This doesn't sit right with you, does it? So make something new. Why do you always have to make stuff for fighting? Why not try a different tack? A different tack? Like... a Levness, but not equipped for combat? Obviously, I don't know the nitty-gritty, but I'm sure it's not totally off the table, right? Think the class freedom is nice. Don't need to get confused with Senna can never learn this skill. That's disappointing. I disagree. I mean, you're welcome to your opinion. I just disagree. Also, I don't really think you'd get confused. You just wouldn't even have the option, is what I'm saying. Like, when you go to the class thing, it would only show the classes Senna can become. So you would be like, okay, this is what Senna can get. And whatnot. It would make all the characters more unique. And it would be a lot more like the affinity coin system in Xenoblade 1, where they did kind of, uh... The When you did the affinity coins with skill trees, every character only had so many shapes that they could use. So there was an extent of like, oh yeah, you can like do different things and mix it up, but not like infinitely. You can't just go insane with it. Because, you know, I'm, I'm a big believer in like, there's a good balance to be found in video games between freedom and restrictions. I personally find that video games become a little less enjoyable when they just have, like, infinite freedom to them. Like, it's just, you can do literally whatever, like, just make it up whatever you want on the go. I like having a bit of restriction that you kind of have to work around and play around with that, like, makes things more unique and takes some more, uh... 
takes some more work and whatnot. And you have to, like, work out specific combos and stuff instead of it just being like, yeah, dude, you can just do whatever. Like, just go go crazy, whatever. Learn everything, do everything, every character is the same, etc., etc. This ain't the time to give up, right? I'm glad they didn't copy something straight from Xenoblade 1. I didn't say they would copy it straight from Xenoblade 1. I said it would be similar. Don't, don't put words in my mouth, chat. <gasps> yeah, Lance, you couldn't be more right. I shouldn't be led by the whims of others when I make my sweet little mecca. Please don't ever say that again. <laughs> Thanks, Lance, and all of you. I'll be back in a jiffy. It's done. What? How did you do that so fast? What the heck? How much time passed while the screen was black? You made it a completely different thing. What? That's insane. Also, not gonna lie, I would like it if they copied a little more from Xenoblade 1. Yeah, it's super fair, Michael. Like, I definitely, like, you know, you don't want just copy and paste. But also, at the same time, when you play a fantastic game, you want that to be built upon in a sequel, right? You don't want them to be like, alright, let's do everything completely new, or like, 80% new. You want it to be like, you want some same, but different. Pretty much. The power of mechanical engineering, man. Each class is graded from S to D for a character's affinity with that class. Honestly, I think it would have been better if a character couldn't get C and D classes until NG+. Get some restrictions the first time through, then get the true freedom in NG+. Yeah, I would, uh... Honestly, Lone Wolf, yeah, that'd be great. I'd really love that. That'd be really neat. Look at Pokemon, they never change anything. Yeah, they never change anything. You're misunderstanding the entire argument. I am not saying that this game should be a carbon copy of Xenoblade 1 down to brass tacks. I'm saying Xenoblade 1 was an amazing game that did a lot of really great mechanics, and... Taking those mechanics and twisting them a little bit or just upping them like a little differently is enough and in some cases not even In some cases some things just don't even need to be changed because they're that good They can just be like yeah, like we have other mechanics that are different But this one thing from Xenoblade was like so flawless We just kept that because there was like no changing it and we didn't want to just remove it like You know I, you're like, I feel like you're kind of comparing apples to oranges with like the Pokemon thing. It's just not comparable. Wow. That fast, huh? It's looking a little on the small side, no? Is that how you wanted it? Yeah. He wouldn't last long in a real battle, but he can follow simple commands. Michael, if we were in a Xenoblade-esque world, you would create a robot like this and then, like, give it to Lauren as a pet or, like, robot servant or whatever, and Lauren would be like, oh, I love him. I don't know why, but that's just, like, when you said I like him in chat, that just popped into my mind. Like, yeah, Michael, like, makes one of these, gives it, gives it to Lauren, and Lauren is like, he's precious, I'll defend him with my life or something. You ever have those moments where just like in an entire scenario involving your friends plays out in your head and you're in your head and you're like, yeah, I can see that happening. Right now, his only directive is to take care of me, but that's just fine. He's a good guy. Right then. Guess our job here is done. So. Yeah, don't worry. I can get back home just fine on my own. Oh, damn blast. And I came all this way. <gasps> A console. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Ouroboros. This, this man put a trash can on his head. Ah, fear not. I have no interest in stirring the pot. I was simply curious as to why our dear Valdi hadn't returned. You promised us you would build the ultimate Levnis, did you not? How much longer do you expect us to wait? Ah, you Agnian dogs! 
How I shall delight in crushing you beneath my boot. About that. Actually, I've decided to... How many times must I say it? Games are for winning. That's what matters. Consider, if we were to lose the initiative, we would be the ones trampled beneath their boots. Yes, but... <sighs> Valdi, my boy. Who was it that said he'd be fine? So long as he could tinker away with Levnis's. Because I clearly remember those words. If you've got time to be flapping those lips, you've got time to be working those hands. Should you fail in your duty, I won't be held accountable for what happens to your friends in the colony. Snuff you, asshole! The more that comes out of your gob, the more I want to smack! Understood. I'm heading back. Valdi! Don't worry. I've made up my mind. Ultimate Levness, he said. I'm a little worried now. I really wasn't expecting a console to show up here. That was so casual for, like, one of the big bads. It's unlikely to bode well for us. Ideally, we'd want to prevent it being deployed in battle. Oh, yeah, there's that, too. But I was more worried about how Valdi feels. He said he'd made up his mind. Doesn't sound like he's going to be finishing his ultimate anything to me. More like... He wants to destroy it. Huh? It's going off on its own. It following Valdi. Adhering to directive of protect. Noah. Yeah, we're following it. All right. Always nice to have more friends. Oh, we gotta follow the mini Levness. Let's go. Getting along. I was about to say something. What was I about to say? I had something in my head during those cutscenes, but I've forgotten. This is something decent, Curse my brain. Right? I was gonna say. I wonder if they're gonna talk or like bring up at all that like ha. Valdi is like. Ha. He doesn't seem affected by the flame clock at all? I was under the impression that, like, characters couldn't be free of, like, wanting to kill Ouroboros and et cetera, et cetera, unless their flame clock was destroyed. But, I don't know, maybe I misunderstood? I don't really get how Valdi's all cool and how he's like, yeah, I'll, like, work against the console now or, like, go against his orders. I thought he was, like... I thought characters were like 100% like I do what the console says, brainwashing, etc. Until they, uh, until they were freed from the flame clock. Or until they, um, until they got hit with the, uh, whatchamacallit, from the thing that Vandom used on us. Whatever that, he called it like an egg or something? I don't remember, whatever that thing was. Uh, she's the girl with the gall is what she was about to say there. Warning level. Does he want to rank 10? No, we got a bunch of rank 8s. Alright. That's fine. Girl with the gall. 